fights, your best bet is to just really focus on a bomb. I, you know, in, in some situations you want to play bombs 50-50, but in most of the time you really want to stay in between the two bombs. That's going to be your best bet to really try and, and, and win the round because, you know, if you're 50-50 in a bomb, it's going to take you a long time to get over to one spot. But if you're in the middle of two bombs, you have, like, kind of the same amount of time to get to either of the bombs. If that makes any sense for you. You'll see me do that a lot. In every Call of Duty, I always figure out where to position myself. Between the two bombs. So he's hosting, so I'm going to be Atlas. Search and destroy. Not too sure if he's going to be over here sniping on the vents, but Defend we're going to find out here very shortly. shot right there. I think I overthrew my stun that time, but ended up taking him out with a nice shot there. With a bow. That was actually a really, really good shot that far away. Yeah, I overshot my stun there. Um, I do have a... I used to use an IMR all throughout like my first 100 wins, but I went to a, a recent land here um, in Long Island, New York, and I tried and used uh, the IMR, and it was not that good. Literally, it did not kill people. Like, four bursts on land, and have this, like, bad mojo with the IMR now. Like, I don't know, maybe if we just take a little take a little break from using it, but... Okay, so I didn't stun anybody on their third. My next place to look would be fire, as you can see there. I think he already ran away. But it looked like he ran to my side, so there he is. He's gonna be on bench, chilling. It's just... That little little strategy I have literally burned inside my brain. You'll run up top of the RACs and then shoot nades or stuns over on there. If you get nothing, your first option is going to be looking fire. Um, and I just saw where he ran that time, so I figured he was going to be coming bench. And it worked out. So. Spoonar, hello man. How are you? Candy Bear and sure, what's up man? Uh, Zemp, no man, I am taking my webcam off here for a little bit. Uh, I just kind of want to stream the game and really focus on the game and playing and stuff, so. No no webcam for right now, but possibly in the future. I, so I don't see him at A. I'm actually going to prep myself to see if he's going to come through fire. If not, we are going to haul it right over to B and just kind of alternate here between the two bombs. See if he's in the middle here, I don't see anybody. Check B. I got nothing. He could be in my sp oh. oh, almost had him there. Right as I turned, I saw him and unfortunately did not pick up that kill there. Now he is host, so maybe if I was host, I probably would have got that. But switching sides. Willis domination. Hello there, man. Search and destroy. I like how the camos moves. Yes, or yes, that it reminded me of Gears of War. I forgot which game, but now when you say that, Gears of War actually did do that as well. I like that addition to the moving. I don't find it like, when you think adding something like that would be like kind of like a distraction, it's really not a distraction though at all. So again, I looked fire and I don't see him, so I'm going to double back to see if he's pushing my third for a second. It's all up to you now. He's flanking me in general at all, and I don't see him. So my next bet is going to be that he is going to be down below this level here. So I'm going to check this level out. See if he's over here. Got just a little bit of mute left. I'll be checking my corners in here as I go. Do not see him currently. Just scope out fire to make sure he's not here. I just heard him boost up so he's on their third. Actually going to take a different route. I gotta be very careful here because he's gonna be sound whoring my boost. So if I need to, if I'm gonna boost up, I gotta look for a gunfight. I don't see him, so. I feel like he is over here though. Yep. And there he is. Great job. Get Take him out. For the next round. Holy nice shot. <laughs> I just got a bad, bad memory now of that IMR. It's me, Freezy. Switching Hello there, man. Sides. This is a YouTube video that you were just commentating over. Oh, I'm predicting this kid like you already played him. 
I guess that'd, that'd be pretty cool, man. Defend the objective. Now, uh, I was about to say, now that I see him over there, I'm gonna back down and shoot some stuns this way, but literally did not even shoot me right there if we watch we this over again in my opinion but whatever we're playing advanced warfare the singles are mostly routine basically yeah over here on this channel a single like look at like look how well i don't know it's kind of debatable um singles is basically the main thing over here on this channel man but i do uh play for a team primal and uh, we're gonna be we compete in tournaments and uh, stuff like that over here online as well so a lot of things are streamed and played over here on the channel so if you're just new here man be sure to follow it if you're looking for daily content and stuff like that all right so i do not see him at b my thoughts are is that he's rushing middle or that he is already at a so i am gonna scope out middle here to see if he's gonna be coming in behind me I got this bench room. He's not over here. Not bad, not bad. Check my corners over here by fire. He's not there. Check in fire. Not there as well. I'm running out of mute, so I gotta make a play here very, very soon. I'm gonna try and give a last boost in here before it empties. He's over there sitting in the corner. Thought he was going to boost away there, so I tried to challenge him and did not work out, unfortunately. Just sitting in a corner. Nobody can really. Look at that. He was so nervous of losing that gunfight. He enabled his stim. Oh, yeah. Zent, that's pretty dang good, man. Played next, and it was 6 5. That was your first single. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. what's going on through your head yeah i think a lot of people do um sometimes though like when i'm playing really really good people oh shit Did you hear him enable his stim right there what a bum complete the mission soldier you're the only one left if you notice i'm not boosting in behind him because he's going to be sound horning my boost i actually ran down to the bomb you have to be very very knowledgeable of how you boost in this game and when you boost and Cause you can actually use that against people's advantage. Like sometimes if you're like, oh, you know, boost after him, chase him, chase him. Uh, a, a really, really good player is going to hear a boost even with mute Switching and your, your blast suppressor on. So you really have to be knowledgeable of when to boost, how to boost, Search and, and play really when you have no mute left. So you have to take that into effect. Destroy the objective. So I'm actually going to push over here. I am most certain he's going to rush this. Three, two, one. Uh, on the side, at least. Last man standing. Finish it. Checking my corners here as we go. Post it up in fire. Oh, no fire. Gonna be over at A somewhere. Okay, so now that I have no mute. I have to use my boosts very, very efficiently. So he's going to hear me walking, so he's already going to have the heads up. I'm actually going to stun check this corner again. So I know he's not up there. He's going to hear me that heard that stun, so I'm going to have to play that to my advantage. He's a good player. He's going to be sitting in between the two bombs, but I really feel like... I think he's on my third. Favoring A. I'm going to go check. Now that I boost, he's going to hear that and be like, oh, I think he's at A, just like he did there. He peeked, now he saw me, so I'm going to act like I'm planting the bomb, but I'm going to be sitting right behind it. He's going to come through fire. Or he could have just stayed there. Ah, probably went fire. In that situation, I should have planted, but I don't know. That's kind of just a, t a coin flip there, whether if you want to look for the kill or play for the bomb. Obviously, I'll, I'll say it numerous times again and again. Like, if you play for the kill in 1v1s, you're probably going to lose. Uh, prime example right there, you really should just focus on the objective and got it down. But it happens. You know, that's kind of just a personal preference of how you want to try and predict a player, really. Um, I feel like he's going to be coming up over here. There's, there's going to be a gunfight one kind of gunfight or gun battle that will occur over here on this third floor 
always is and it always will be. Um, I don't see him up here. So he could be watching this from his spawn or on the ACs. Got to be very careful of that. I do have to check A now. A is perfectly fine. So I'm actually going to run back to B. Always ready for any kind of engagement that's about to happen here. Nothing on this roof, so he's going to be in my spawn. I'm more looking over, so I do not see him. Now we're just going to rotate back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now I do have two stuns. So that's going to allow me to try and maybe peek a bomb without me peeking. Like kind of you know, stun checking it. As I see him there, as he runs away now, this is, this is going to be tough because he's going to be on both sides of elbow there. As he rotates to the middle, or he could do that, and I was going to be pre-aiming that here pretty soon, and he just beat me there. It's kind of just kind of uh, cutting off his rotation is basically what I was doing right there. Switching sides. You know you're too underrated, man. Hopefully you get the recognition you deserve real soon. Thank you, BC. I appreciate it, man. Destroy the objective. Carney TV, hello. How are you? Okay, so I double stun that. I feel like he's gonna be rushing middle. Well, I'm gonna wait in bench actually. We get five second wait here as my as my mute dwindles. I'm not it's I'm not really moving, so I might actually just save it. This. this is basically waiting. You know, he's up around. He basically has an extra life, so he's gonna be playing probably very silly or very goofy. My goal right now is really to just catch him catch him off guard so I'm gonna check my corners here as I go he's not in there and he's not in fire is that him? I don't think that was him anyways so he's not in here he's not in the middle he could be over third again looking at A or he could be on my third or he could be low here in the second floor I don't see him I'm gonna try and lay this down actually yep my third I'm actually going to plant this Just peeking me. I probably should rush him. I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna sit right on it because he's watching me. He's gonna go through fire. Right above me. Right above me at the moment. He's still boosting around. He's gonna blow the time now. Play this clock timer, and yeah, he knows it too. Not on it. So there, really just playing the timer, man. I'm getting the plant down, as you see there. Uh, if I would have pushed and maybe pursued that kill, all he had to do is really just run away. And I feel like that's why I got that bomb down. Now that I played the objective right there, I got it down, and I kind of just controlled the tempo of the game. Search and destroy. So now it's going to be a 5-5 round. He's probably going to play very, very campy. I might try and do something different here that I normally never do. I'll try and push fire here. Last man standing. Finish it. Save my mute just so I can get to the two bombs. A is the common bomb on this map. And I don't see him. Oh, now I do. I don't think he saw me though. And there you have it. 6-5 victory. Taking a 2-0. There we go. Tanner, I watched you mostly in Black Ops 2, and I watched you play next a few times with Ghost. Didn't know if you remember me. I've been here a while. Yo, Fidelity, thank you, man. Hope you're enjoying the stream, buddy. Good job, Adam.